Singapore is a step closer to having the first autonomous vehicles, or AVs, become part of its public transport network. Repeated test runs mean AV operator Grab's shuttles are more ready to ply Pongo and handle Singapore's unique conditions like school zones and yellow boxes. Drivers will ensure passengers' safety have also progressed in their training. Services are expected to start early next year. Claudia Lim with more. When Grab driver Asman Rahman first saw the chance to become an AV safety operator, he immediately knew he wanted to be part of the firm's pioneer batch. He's been on board these shuttles testing on the Pungol roads. Even though it looks this simple, people know, I uh, just be behind there and drive. But the concentration that we need to have, we need to intervene the car at any time, at any scenario, any anything that may happen, right? Uh, and also, at the same time, we need to re- let the car run by itself. And uh, compared to driving your own car, it's so much different, but it's always more challenging. Mr. Azman is among some 10 other safety operator trainees at Grab. They play a key role in the success of these vehicles. They not only step in during emergencies, they also provide feedback that will go into improving the rides. These autonomous vehicles have already passed their first big test, but that's on a closed circuit where they're able to avoid obstacles, detect problems and make emergency stops. But the roads here in Pongo are different. Since October, over 100 autonomous tests have already been completed and Grab plans to four times their amount by the end of the year. Grab says so far some improvements have been made based on these test runs and feedback from safety operators and trainees. Its 11 vehicles have been fine-tuned to turn more smoothly and stop at all zebra crossings. One of our routes actually passes through uh, school and that's a pretty important uh, feature for us to see whether or not there are pedestrian uh, patterns that we have to accommodate. Uh, with regards to kids crossing the road or dashing across the road, those are all instances in the real world that we want to basically be able to, to accommodate. The AVs are also learning more about Pungul's road conditions. These include peak and down times in pedestrian flow, illegally parked cars and unique to Singapore rules like yellow boxes. Mr Sim says the AV industry is set to create several jobs and that the firm is looking to play a key role by educating drivers. He adds that there's a wide variety of jobs available, including ground technicians and site coordinators.